G'day fellas and welcome to Nomad FFA. Today we are attempting the impossible challenge, the Dark Age Abbasid Dynasty play. We're hoping that we find some sort of water. That's what I'm looking for. It hasn't been the best start right now. Normally you'd hope to see it. We're going to run our king. Maybe we, we go down in this southerly direction. Already spotted yellow and pink. Haven't really got too much information on about where they are. Now I'm pretty sure we are on... Are you attacking my king? I can see you with your little shiv out right there. In which case that is just sad. Um, now, I guess one thing to note is that we are on Mega Random. So it's not land Mega Random. So there should technically somewhere out here be Pink Go away. Pink, stop it. Pink, stop it. There should be water on this map. Not should. I mean, I think there's like a random percent that there's not. But uh, okay, it looks like Pink did go away. We've got Teal in the middle here. Going to be playing the Mongols. And all we're looking for is we just want to find water. That's all we care about. We don't care about anything else. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to find it. We've spotted out Yellow's TC's here. Where is the water, though? Where is the water? Do we get water on this map? Because without water, I've got no chance. Really? Damn, Yellow. You taking... Just, just build your TC, Yellow. What's going on, man? All right. No water yet. Oh, Strongo. So sad. Oh, that's water, right? That's water. That's water. That's water. That's it. Na 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 na. Is it a ri is it a river though? I don't know. I don't know whether it's a river or not. Um. Okay. Now let's just find some wood. Uh. There's wood here, but there's also players here. That's wood. That's wood. Let's go. We got ourselves some wood. We got ourselves some water. What more could you want in a game? Uh. King. Oh, it is a river. Uh. But King is on the wrong side of the world. I don't remember telling the king to go that far. But king, I'm going to need you back here. I'm going to need you back here, stat, brother. Um, we're going to need a, a few more fishing boats in this game. Main reason is because in this game, uh, we've only got river fish. And river fish, a aka shoreline fish, not as powerful as their deep sea brethren. Uh, so naturally, we want to try and get a few more of them out. So that's something that we'll be looking to do here. Hopefully, there's not too many other people around us in the north side of the map. Um, we're going to just be looking to win this game in the Dark Age. So only, only, only uh, using the tools available to us here. Uh, fishing boat, you can get started out here. You can see we've already got ourselves a nice little bit of food income starting to come through here. Uh, we're not going to move this villager back, even though we probably should. Uh, just because it's going to be a slow town center to come up. You can see we've got... Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to move this villager back. Just because we want him on wood, wood gathering, I think, for the beginning of the game. All right, so I'm going to send the king up the rest of the shoreline. Uh, I'm not going to use the sprint ability just in case we do run into a town center or something like that. We will need to have that ability ready to go. Uh, but at the moment, we've only really spotted out the Mongols in the middle. We've spotted out yellow as well. Um, and obviously, there's eight players on this map. Another thing to note is we've still got all eight players. Um, sometimes uh, in the games I'm playing, at least, players seem to give up pretty early on in the game. You know, first minute, first two minutes, that sort of thing. Uh, players will give up quite early, so... Depends. We're, we're pretty late with this town center. At least, I, I would say, about 90 seconds late on this TC. So this is going to hurt us. It's going to hurt our momentum. It's going to hurt our start. Uh, but we are going to... We're, we're never going to give up. We're never going to surrender. All that good stuff. Let's get to it. All right. So town center is up. We're going to focus on getting village account, increasing it as high as we can. Picked up our little sheep here as well. Not that we're going to be using it. And we're going to... Our next focus is going to be on getting in more food. We want lots and lots of food. Uh, because lots of food means lots and lots of villagers. So you can see we've got plenty stacked up in there at the moment. But it's going to take some time for that food bank to actually start. Or that food income to start rolling through. I'm going to send my king up to do a bit of scouting. Just because when you do start off in these games, normally you do want to go for a scout. But for me, I'm not going to be going for a scout. Just because I am going to be playing on water. So I want to make sure I've got a bit more of an efficient opening. Uh, now, let's double check. Okay, there we go. We've got our... should probably put a control group on our king so that we can react a little bit more quicker. More quickly. More swiftly. So when it comes to crossings, I'm not too fussed about crossings. In fact, one of the things I'm thinking about doing is using my um, my water control to actually uh, utilize um, transport ships. So basically the plan is this. I put them in a transport ship, I sail them down the river, and then I go and attack this guy. And then I go down and attack this guy. You get the picture. Uh, and then that way, we're going to mitigate a lot of the speed issues that you have with a standard infantry army uh, that is especially immobile uh, when it's got battering rams. Uh, included so that's something that we will be keeping in mind with the other thing i'm going to be looking for is throwing or putting finding a place for our landmark so making sure we're not using sprint 
Ideally, we can look to put our landmark in this northern corner and then connect everything to the network. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and let's make sure that we don't forget to get more and more more and more fishing boats in. We can look for a second dock now. So I'm going to go up a little bit further up the stream. You can see we've got a crossing over here. So that is something that we need to be aware of. Uh, but so far, this is this is pretty good. This is a really nice little spot to start off with. Imagine starting here. You've got deer, gold, and wood, and you were just in that corner. No one's coming to get you. Like, it, that, is a, that is a lovely little start. A little bit slow with this villager. So we're probably going to look to add in maybe two docks right here. Probably, probably not necessary this early to go for that second dock. I mean, that, you, you always say it's not necessary, and then you, then you just can't help yourself. Uh, where are we putting this? We could just put this in on the crossing. I do, I do, I don't mind putting it on the crossing, like somewhere back here. Um, that way, we're just not going to stomp the fish. And I think this is definitely where we're going to be putting our landmark. So we'll put our landmark here, and then we'll put all of our houses looking to connect it. Let's hand in and keep on making. And I think we'll go down here as well. Just right there. Hopefully that doesn't crush any fish. Alright. So, so far it's a pretty decent start for us. I'm, I'm happy with this just because we are quite isolated. Alright, so, and we've got ourselves a beautiful little spot back here. This is really, really nice. Okay, there we go. And we're going to start thinking about throwing down houses now. So, I'm going to make sure that we are leading our houses northerly like this probably throw down a lumber camp as well somewhere maybe over there as long as they're connecting already got some feudal ages coming through geez that's a quick one there from the juicy legacy no surprises uh they are always pretty quick out of the gates and uh we can probably look to throw this lumber camp down here yeah this is probably a smarter lumber camp right now um we want to avoid oh we've got two guys teal and yellow okay where where is everybody else though this is kind of wild right because i've bro don't, uh, do you want to lose your scout? I can I can make you lose your scout if you want. All right. So I think we want to go pretty big here on our raxes. So how many vills have we got? We've got fourteen vills. To be honest, I feel like do we even really need to put our house of wisdom at the north? I mean, probably, right? Probably. We're going to put our king in a transport ship. That's for sure. Let's let's keep pushing it north like this. And let, let's get you guys a little bit closer to this lumber camp. We'll make sure we get our upgrade as well. And yeah, you can see we're only really able to get... What is this? Oh, he was on the other side and he's run around. So there's no pathway up there. Okay, cool. All right, so slowly expanding. Feudal ages are starting to come through for most players here. So yellow's aged up. We've also got teal who's also aged up. These guys are pretty close down here. So I'm going to expect that they're going to look to tangle with each other. I'm going to look to get a couple scouts out now. I think this is probably the right time. I might go into three scouts uh, just because I want to locate players. Uh, I want to see exactly where they're up to, or what they're up to, where they're at. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty important. And we're going to continue pumping out. Alright, so... Maybe not that many scouts. Maybe we just go one scout right now. I don't want to kill your scout, Orange. So if you could just grab that from, from me, that would be lovely. Did not do it. Alright, and I think... Yeah, we'll throw this down right here in the back. Two, four, five, six. It's still not enough for a wonder. So we'll just... We'll put it right there. And we're going to keep going with the fishing production. Just because I feel like the more you invest early in this, the better it is. The more it will pay off. And it, it really definitely comes back. We're going to be looking to take out, I think, our Mongol player first. Oh, scout. Always, for, always forget about that scout. So where are we going to go first? Maybe let's go over the other side of the river and just see if we've got anybody close to us there. King, you can hop inside the town center. We don't want to lose you accidentally. And that's probably not going to help us right now. Let's just look to connect... That won't connect. You've got to be very, very specific about where you throw these down. You know what we could throw down here? We could throw a barracks down here. That's a smart move. There we go. Now we're thinking. Now we're cooking with gas. Alright, so at the moment we've got 20 fishing boats, which I think is probably enough. I think that's a decent amount that you can kind of settle with and just go, okay, you know, 20 fishing boats, good amount. 
and that's going to be our first house. And then, so when you've got diagonals like this, I think it's much better to cover the distance. So that'll be two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, almost enough. Uh, and we can just, can we just throw down another racks here? I mean, we, we don't even really need to, but we might as well. So that'll be three racks for us. And now we can focus on our production. Do we rally to the TC? Maybe just rally to here. Uh, I might even look to get some early walls down as well, just to stop any kind of silly shenanigans from happening. And uh, yeah, this should connect us. This should take us through to level two or level one on the golden age, which would be very, very nice. I'm going to add in a bit more production here. This should be it right here. Come on, give it to me. Lovely. That is a beautiful sound to hear. All right, so now we can begin the production, begin the spam, all that good stuff. We're going to put buildings towards the front. Might get a, another one that we throw down as well. Cool, so we got lots and lots of food in the bank at the moment. Um, and no one's near us at all. So this is a really nice setup. There's a part of me that thinks maybe we should almost just leave the Mongols for a little bit. Okay, so there's Pink over here. Still in, he's in the feudal age. He's got a really good position. Also going to be going into the archers. So we want to find anybody that's along the river. We should be looking for that because river kills are going to be really nice for us early on. Because we can just kind of roll in there and just take them out. Uh, we'll have a lot of mobility through this river as well. So I'm really going to be banking on this strategy doing well. Um, let's get, I think just a sixth... Do we, do we want to go so six? I think six. Probably enough, yeah. Six Raxes. And we can probably even just rally over to here. Wait. I told you to go down here, but... Is that... Is that how it happened? Alright, let's get a couple more houses down. And I'm going to put this down at the back. We're also going to... Just wall this and this. Why not? Maybe throw down that. I wasn't making units. That was a bit of a mistake for me. Oh, K Teeth has already surrendered. That is our pink player. All right, so we've got our docks. So let's get a couple transport ships in soon. Actually, maybe what we do is we just kind of... We just sit here massing up spears for the moment. Just keep it pumping. We just keep throwing all of our resources into spears. There we go. That's green. Was green the one putting pressure on, were they? I'm going to have to get a couple more scouts here. Oh, I've already got... Oh, gosh, Drongo. Okay, so it was green just picking up the kill then. That's Feudal Age only just being reached now by our Ottoman player. So maybe a little bit of a bad start there. 13 minutes on the Feudal. Not the best. Uh, down here over on the left-hand side. So on the right, we've got the Jean d'Arc player. So let's see if we can find them. Green did have a dock over here as well. So he may be close. So we've got Jean d'Arc. I don't want to target the blue player. Just because of that late age up. I want to leave him in the game for a little bit longer. Wonderful, wonderful. We just come down here, drop the rams off. Come say good day. All right, let's go. Uh, let's make sure that that's the right one here. How many spears have we got? 51 spears! Oh my lord. That's more than I thought we would have. We're gonna, we're gonna need a bigger boat. Three, I think we go four transport ships and we take them all the way down the river. We called, could also look to just take out Green on the way here. He is over here, and he did already get a kill. And he's playing the Ayurveds. Let's get you guys over here. And he just reached Castle Edge. Oh, you're up here now. And that's your king. Your king's up over here. I'm just going to pretend that I f didn't remember that. That's three transport ships. That's going to be four right there. Okay. All right, there's your answer. What's going on here? Am I really like... Oh, this one here. I thought I was full. All right. 
Let's do it. So we're going to go and we're going to take out Green. Uh, he is playing the Aobids. We're going to start... Can we send these guys individually down this river instead of all formation? Because you're just going to be annoying. I, I hate watching units path in Age of Empires 4, dude. If there's one thing that, like, annoys me greatly, Age of Empires 4 unit pathing. <sighs> Nightmare stuff. Nightmare fuel. That is red picking up... Was it yellow? Yeah, yellow. Red's here at the back. Okay, alright. Very far away. Let's keep our spearmen pumping. Alright, we're going down. So, we've got green here. So we could just... Maybe we just drop off before we reach the docks. I think that's probably the best play. We do have these houses coming up. Let's keep it going. Like that. Alright. Our first victim is going to be on the other side of the map. So, is there anyone that we haven't located? One, two, three. What was that that I just rallied? My... So he's on 2 TC. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I forgot about these guys. Hey, what are you doing? Battering rams? Would you guys mind leaving the... Thank you guys. Uh, Spears, you guys want to come? Oh my god, there's still more in there! They're a bit silly- for fuck's sake, dude. They're so silly sometimes. I mean, they're doing what I told them to do. They're attack moving. King's inside. We're gonna need a little bit of bit of extra oomph here, I think. He does have the fire armor. Please pathing, please pathing, battering rams. Oh my fucking god, dude. I actually fucking hate the pathing in this game so goddamn much, dude. Oh, don't, don't do me like this, no. I absolutely just got done. I'm not gonna say I got done by pathing, but I, I got done by my own poor decisions. You, can my fucking scouts shut the fuck up, dude? Oh, you are so annoying, dude. Shut up that you spot something. Just get out of here. D get. Oh, I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad, dude. I got, I got, I got the big mad right now. Oh, I'm so... Ooh. Green, I'm coming back. Green, I'm coming back, and I'm, I'm coming back with the big mad, dude. Okay, so that, that's essentially my own fault for not bringing more rams. I don't know what I was thinking, only bringing two rams to an Ayubid player's base when they've got that armor. So Ayubid players and Abbasid players alike have an extra five armor from their, um, their House of Wisdom. So it's an extra five fire armor. Uh, and so that was something I failed to consider when attacking him. So that is not something... That is not a mistake I will make this time. I will bring a few more battering rams here. Okay. Hopefully this time, we'll get through the defenses a little bit easier. That was really bad. That was very, very bad. Uh, I was ill-prepared. Oh, that was so silly. Why, why did I think I could attack with 60 spears and two battering rams? Should have been 60 spears and no, se six or seven battering rams, and it would have been fine. Just wasted so much time, though. Blue, what are you doing here? I, I haven't discovered the blue base, actually. Oh, no, we, we, we like blue. We like blue. We want to keep blue in the game. Let's get a couple more of these. 
They're coming up. Okay. So this time we've got a few more spears. I wonder if he's going to move his king now. Oh, now we can just go for the landmarks. I don't mind that at all. But we need to make sure that we have... Oi, fuck off. Teal, no. Teal, stop that. Teal, I know where your king is. Teal, you motherfucker, I will... I'm leaving these here because I don't even need these. I warned you, Teal. He's not really, is he? Teal, I spotted your king, bro. I wonder if it's in the same spot. It probably is. You could have had the good life, Teal. We could have been friends, Teal. But you had to just... You had to just go and siege it all down. Blue, what are you doing? I told you, Teal. We could have been friends, Teal. I told you. I told you, Teal. You didn't want to listen. You didn't want to take my advice, Teal. That's how quickly I can end you. Listen to Papa Drongo next time, Teal. Alright, green's coming up next. I don't like green. I feel like he's quite good. This is a lot of battering rams, man. So pink's out of the game. We don't know where, where blue is, but we don't really mind that much about blue. We, we will let blue do blue things as long as blue likes to do blue things. Let's get a couple more trade ships, or transport ships. Ooh, we don't actually have a whole lot of these guys left. Probably get a couple more docks then. Let's go dock here and dock here. Cannot, cannot build there. Interesting. Alright. Imperial age for taxi. That's orange. <sighs> See, the thing is, we're still making spears though, so I'm not that fast. Right? Like, he, he's... You gotta remember that when you're playing as those civilizations, you wanna make your strongest unit. And that's the Royal Knight. Alright, let's get these in. Alright, if you're full. Please get out of here. I should be doing this on the crossing, actually. Oh, that makes so much sense. Do it on the crossing. guys here you guys can be the, the the squad that rebuilds all right let's go i'm gonna send a fishing boat to lead the way just to scout out yeah so we just do a, a, a full drop here that's basically the same distance isn't it just makes life so much easier that's the thing you gotta remember right it's when it comes to this it just life is just easier okay the drop. It's on the way. 24 minutes into this game. The next 
death drop is coming. Now, green will know. But is green thinking about orange? Is he thinking about blue? Blue sees us again. Dude, I feel like blue is the watcher. Like, he just he's just looking, dude. Blue? We're good friends. And I don't want to... I don't want to upset you, but please stop that. Thank you. All right. So we're just coming down here. So do we just we just pull everybody out right here? We've got 25 fucking rams, dude. Good luck with that that par thing. I'll tell you right now. Phew. All right, here we go. For fuck's sake. Whoa! Jufia just aged up to Imperial. Go! I'm just trying to, like, get different pathing routes for these. We just kill the landmark, then we kill the king after. That's a lot of rams, dude. Where's the king at? Look at this beautiful pathing. Problem solved. No, no, no. <sighs> Delete the evidence. My town center. What am I gonna do? King, you go over there, buddy. Wait, Blue, what are you doing here? Wait, Blue, what are you doing here? Oh my god, there's a crossing! That's wild! Oi! Oh, I didn't want that! Now I can't- Oh my gosh! Now I can't fucking- I didn't want to fight with blue! Was it just- it was just going off and like, I just couldn't hear it or something? Like, I was deaf? How many have we got? 17. Alright guys. Let's go. Transport ship? Oh my god, that's so many fucking units, dude. Uh... I mean, I can just put my king on the other side. We 
kind of need to take out Red. Red's being aggressive to us. Oh no, he's coming. He's 100% coming. Godspeed. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> See that? Oh, that's kind of crazy. King is in a different castle, my friend. We need to get him out. We need to get him out. Where'd my ship go? Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is not good. We gotta go for him right now. Dude, I can't get... over. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. King, King, back, 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 back. Excuse me, guys. Got a little bit of a uh, party to get to. Run, King. Oh, blue's over here. Good work, King. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, there are some weaknesses to this strategy. No, no, my King. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. My King. Ah, oh, he doesn't get the pop now for my kill. I'm sorry. That was unintentional. I did not mean that. I was really trying to do the great escape. Uh, I don't I don't know if this is going to be possible. It it just it doesn't feel anywhere near as strong as the Japanese. The Japanese are so capable because the samurai actually fuck. Whereas spears they don't. They do not. They don't have armor. They have less attack. <sighs> I wish we could go and watch this right now. I wish we could go and watch this. But we can't. Observe. Show us some games. Just start us off with some games. Come on. Any games. I'll, I'll take any games right now. Wonderful. Thank you. This is a good start. It's about six games. What do we got here? An 8v8. These all just look like custom games. It doesn't look like any auto match games. I don't know what's happening, but it's not showing me auto match games. So I can't actually see. Okay, there we go. There we go. So it's an eight player game. We're going for 33 minutes so far. So it's probably around the 35 minute mark now. 34, 35, somewhere around that. So it's on... Yeah, it's not here. It was on Mega Random. Yeah, there's, no, there's nothing here. Oh, here. No. Even this one. I don't know why it won't show us the games. It's bugged. It's bugged. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Another unfortunate loss here for the Abbasid.